Good day to you my friends, welcome to today's Fast and Fun Friday Run Series where today I'll be talking about the topic of Is Science Holding Us Back? Ah, can't beat a nice cup of tea. Today it's peppermint. Mm -mm -mm. You might recognise the mug. I think it's uh, and with this particular topic. Yes, today's topic, my friends. A very warm welcome to each and every one of you. My name is Donato. Welcome to my channel, where uh, every Friday I post a fast and fun Friday run series where it helps you guys, hopefully, to have more fun whilst running and, in the same way, also run faster. So, following on from last week's um, last week's topic, where I was talking about hydration. Yeah, hydration. Mm -hmm. Hydration. That caused a lot of uh, debate in the comments below and I want your comments again in the comments below on this particular topic about science. So hydration, it came up and which is a lot about the science and there's things that have been happening over the, the many years. I've only been running a couple of years now but I'm seeing more and more um, things coming out where at the time I would question it and thinking, hmm, that sounds like a load of science BS to me. Um, being from a, a, an engineering scientific background. And I think it was about six months ago where I talked about a particular shoe from a particular brand. Yeah, I'll leave it in the link below. And uh, it caused a bit of a furore, lots of thumbs down from people. Um, not many views, I think now it's up to about 300 views, but a lot of thumbs down. Um, and they all came in very quickly. So whether it was people hating on that particular brand or whether they didn't like me saying the truth, yeah? And um, that shoe is nowhere to be seen. If I just said Meta Ride, where is it to be seen now? Yeah, it was going to be the shoe of the future, and it was going to do this and do that, and it didn't do anything. And I'm asking you guys, you know, is science holding us back? When what I read through, and you, I say you can watch that uh, review I've done. It was all live, so there was no script or anything. It was one of my daily Donato's live chats on the 1st of March this year, St. David's Day. So big hello to all the uh, Welsh viewers there. St. David's Day was that particular day. And, uh, and just to back up in terms of what I'm saying, obviously for a lot of you who may be new to this channel or been watching and thinking, oh, what, what the hell do you know? Yeah, what the hell do I know? Um, I'll just use basic common sense and uh, a, bit of, a bit of what's up here. But I'll use a bit of backing to, because uh, obviously there's people who've done the research and the science. And there was a TED talk about five years ago. David Epstein, right? five years ago, and I'll leave a link below, and you can watch this, where he talks about, are athletes actually getting faster, stronger, all that type of stuff, yeah? And he goes through the science, and he shows the reviews and talks, and I think he gives a comparison between the 100 meter winner, 50, 60 years ago, at the Olympics, and Usain Bolt, his world record, um, and what he's done, yeah? And we look at the advances in people, but what he's concluded is there is a small advancement, but the biggest advancements is in the science, in the particular for the 100 meters, is where the track had changed from a particular type of material. I think it went from um, asphalt or ash or whatever, and it's now become a more modern technology where you get more of a spring and so on. And, and it's the same, I think, with running. You know, there's a particular shoe that I won't name right now, which is making all the rage. And, it sort of raises the eyebrows. I've been to some races and people in these shoes, like for a 10K, I was doing a 10K uh, uh, the other month, and the guy who won came in two minutes, a whole two minutes ahead of the next field. He had this brand of shoe and the others didn't. At the half marathon <laughs> last weekend, yeah, and there were some guys who came up to say hello. So hello, yes, had that particular brand of shoe. And they came in with massive PBs on the half marathon, massive PBs, yeah. Is it attributed just to the shoe or not? So is that, is that where the advancement in that science is helping people? So, you know, if I put on those shoes, do I go out and I think there was a particular YouTuber who ran a, a marathon and then rocked up a few months later in this brand of shoes, running a, a downhill course and uh, came in with a 10 minute PB, I think, or 15 minute um, 10 minute improvement, 15 minute improvement, which sounds amazing. Um, but I've seen guys come in with half an hour improvements um, with, with training and these types of shoes. So 
what, where is the advancement coming in? Where, 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 where is it as us as people? And that's my question to you guys, are we advancing? But the topic, as I was saying for me, for this, is is the science holding us back? And the, the thing about the, uh, I need another drink because uh, my mouth is drying up while it's talking. Gosh, actually thinking about it, I've just drunk more now, just talking to you guys than I did in the whole of the uh, Chicago Marathon. Yeah, that's right. So, as I've said in the other videos, I'm not here to give advice, tips or whatever, it's just giving what I do and my views and what you do with that is up to you guys. So, please don't sue me because I'm not giving any advice here, I'm just talking about what I do. So, the debate there in terms of what we read, and I've read books where, and, and I've seen something released, I might do a whole separate vlog on this particular piece of technology that came out this week, I think it was last week. But all the influencers have got it and they're doing all rave reviews but I've seen a feature on there where in my opinion it's it's a recipe for disaster in endurance running and uh, for those of you who, who've been watching for a while you know I, I run on feel when I was running the Kenilworth half marathon I was running it purely on feel yes I wear the watch or whatever but I remember a top professional coach was um, having a little bit of a dig at one of his uh, elite athletes and uh, they were persistent on using the watch and watching and getting a pace and running at a pace and his words were he says do you really trust this little thing connecting with a device thousands of miles of satellite to tell you in an exact pace because as we know in endurance running in particular marathon running if your pace say in kilometers is say five ten seconds out that could be the difference between running a great race and collapsing or bonking you know where you lose all your energy and you hit the wall and, and you're out yeah so there's something that's come out where it's basically encouraging people to uh, continually be uh, you know working on the technology is that taking away our responsibility in terms of what we as people can do you know in the same way we're, we're being pummeled with all this marketing and so on and so forth by taking on certain drinks and the word electrolytes when really it is all it is is salt, when, when you say the word electrolytes, are we being baffled with all this science and forgetting to use our basic common sense? Most top elite athletes that I, I have the opportunity to speak with, um, they, they bin all the technology and they just go on feel. I mean, is there any wonder that a lot of the world records are still being held because they were running on field back in their days and the thing that sort of sparked me into doing this is I had the opportunity to ask a previous winner of the Chicago Marathon a particular event and uh, there was various people asking questions and one guy asked a question and I thought oh and it related to mine and all I did was put my hand up and he thankfully asked me and my question was what I'm asking you guys and I'd love to comment below is is science holding us back? And do you know what his answer was? Do you know what? I think you're onto something there. Maybe I am onto something. I don't know. You know, I think I am. And uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. But in no way am I dissing or disrespecting uh, what, what people may find or achieve. But having read a, a number of books, and there was one of some great scientific research that's been done, is the research is not conclusive whilst there have things that they use the words may or could or should it's never conclusive so if you want to take things and you believe it and i think the author did say that we you me we want to believe when we read this stuff about a particular shoe about a particular sock about a particular shirt or a headband or glasses we want to believe that these will help us and by believing that, I think people talk it about the placebo effect, but some things have gone beyond that, where we are now seeing advancements by these um, gadgets and devices coming in, and shoes, that it's, it's not a placebo effect. There is something actually in there that is giving that advantage and making us move forward. Unfortunately, it wasn't Metaride. Um, but uh, I digress, and I think I need another sip on the tea. So yes, irony of ironies, with, with all the, the, the brushes and everything in the background here, can you see, cleaning up, mopping up, are we having a bit of a mop up? So that's all I have really to say. I think I've 
probably witted on because I don't work to any scripts or whatever, just a general topic and I would really love to hear from you guys what your views are with science and are there any things that maybe you'd like to raise with the people down in the comments below? Are there any things that you've seen in the past or now where you think really I can smell something yeah 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 I can smell some BS so um, yeah tell us share it with us and I, very, I have to stress that I have no access to grind rain. I'm just saying it how it is. I like to run free, I like to enjoy my running, and hopefully you guys enjoy your running. Um, but when it comes to saying you need to take this, do this, do that, I'm sort of wondering, mm, I mean, some people actually say if you wear a certain colour, um, you'll go fast. Well, going back to what I said earlier, if you believe that, then you will. On that note, I would like to conclude this particular uh, video. Thank you so much for uh, watching this. If you have enjoyed it in some way, please do give it a thumbs up and click on the link up there if you haven't seen the previous uh, Fast and Fun Friday Run series and catch up, do a bit of binge watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do click on that link up there and subscribe to this channel and I would greatly appreciate that. And it may even help contribute to my next pizza. Thank you guys. <laughs>